verse 50. Oh, Tara Lakshi. Guru, yeah. the most devotees are actually not from Croatia. <laughs> I'm sorry that I have to disappoint you. <laughs> but we are all together, international. Yeah. Yeah, same numbers in same always in the zooms. <laughs> in Russia, check all uh, other places, but not to their hometown. <laughs> all in Vrindavan, Gurudev. All in Vrindavan. <laughs> you have to come soon to the <laughs> Yes. Yeah, go on. Oh, Tara Lakshi, restless eyed girl. Yeah, oh. When will the time come when I can offer you sweet drinking water? Scented with I fresh. Restlessness. You are so anxious to succeed with your lover. You become restless. And when somebody becomes restless, uh, when uh, Swami restless, she also becomes restless. Right? So, I want to offer you sweet drinking water. Because you are so restless for a long time to meet with your love. And this restlessness can come to see the devotees, <laughs> other sarup, uh, the, uh, who is in the sarup, Mandi sarup, to see her restlessness. Some drop will come. <coughs> That Raghunath Das Goswami is praying. Yes. So, when will the time come when I can offer you sweet drinking water, scented with fresh roses and cancer? When will the time come when I can offer you sweet drinking water scented with fresh roses? And camphor. Wow. For for flushing your mouth. Shirat. Along with a twig for brushing your teeth. Shirat. Shirat. Wow. Notes. During deep transcendental visions, Sri Raghunath relishes the sweetness of devotional service, as if 
he is directly with Swamini. Yeah. And when the revelation disappears, he laments while remembering the pastimes he had attained. Uh. How severely the fire of the remembrance of his lost joy burns. The remembrance of this joy increases the severeness of his suffering. This remembrance is become the nature of my doing. This is by the remember what I think, and I do my material work, and I'm doing my First thing you would not like to do more, and second thing you want to do what you are thinking. You will dream what you are thinking. So Kriya is different and Bhajan is different. So it's not matched to us. When I do Bhajan and Kriya means the thing remembering, same time it works. Read again. During deep transcendental visions, Sri Raghunath relishes the sweetness of devotional service, yeah. as if he is directly with Swamini. Yeah. And when the revelation disappears, he laments while remembering the pastimes he had attained. Yeah. Again? How? Read again. It's not right. During, during deep transcendental visions, mm -hmm. Sri Raghunath relishes the sweetness of devotional service as if he is directly with Swamini. Wow. It's relishment is important. And when we relish, you know, when we do the homework, when we more think, give more time for that, then we relish. Once you listen, you will not relish. Because it's not enter in heart. Relishment can come when you deep, go deep in that. That you relish. And many times, same thing you do, then you relish. Same line you repeat again and again, then you relish that. that circumstances, what happened. Right? Yeah. During deep transcendental visions, Sri Raghunath relishes the sweetness of devotional service as if he is directly with Swamini. Uh -huh. By doing and doing and doing, Raghunath and the devotee start feeling that he is with Swamini. She is more near and other things are. <laughs> mm. 
And when the revelation disappears, he laments while remembering the pastimes he had attained. How severely the fire of the remembrance of his lost joy burns. The remembrance, the remembrance of this joy increases the severeness of his suffering. Uh -huh. The remembrance of this joy increases the severeness of his suffering. Because when you remember it, and same thing you do, <coughs> and you miss that, then you suffer if you are not doing That more severe without, more difficult to live without that. And then he swims in an ocean of bliss once more as another transcendental revelation comes to him. Again. And then from beginning. During deep transcendental visions, Sri Raghunath relishes the sweetness of devotional service as if he is directly with Swami. Yeah. And when the revelation disappears, he laments while remembering the pastimes he had attained. Yeah. How severely the fire of the remembrance of his lost joy burns. Yeah. The remembrance of this joy increases the severeness of his suffering. And then he swims in an ocean of bliss once more as another transcendental revelation comes to him. This is clear. In this way, the stream of the devotee's life flows on. like a succession of the light of union and the darkness of separation. In this way, 
the stream of the devotee's life flows on like a succession of the light of union and the darkness of separation. Shri Radhika and her Sakis have relished the nectar of Krishna's lips. The remnants of his food. And now Tulasi serves drinking water. Sweetened with the flavor of roses and camphor. Srimati's eyes are restless also then. She doesn't know whether she tastes the nectar of Krishna's lips or whether she eats the remnants of his food. She doesn't know whether she tastes the nectar of Krishna's lips or whether she eats the remnants of his food. Yeah. When, she, when she meets Mohan, she relishes Rasolasa. And when she is separated from him, she tastes Pavolasa. Yeah. What is Rasolasa and Pavolasa? So Good. I'm just reading this and I think. I only know Babulasa in relationship to Manjaris, but here it is in relationship with Shimate Radhika. So you have to please explain. Rasa Ulas means you are relishing. Radharani is relishing. The lips of Krishna is Rasa Ulas. And when she is not far, far from Krishna, then the food of Krishna, when she eats in the form, then she is in that feeling of power, that she is not eating, she is kissing <laughs> through the flying kiss. Oh, love. Mm -hmm. It's a flying kiss. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is Shri Mati Rasa's And uh, we have to come this. Rasa, on last, why she is doing to teach us? She sees that wow, she wants to develop that. 
She feels a deeper bliss when she is separated from Krishna than when she is together with him. When she is together, she is always take us of loss. And when she is separate, then she is set from how to loss to the magic. How she is in our Krishna. Rasa is more trash flourishing, but Manjuri has not a desire to go to this Krishna. Then if she has this desire, then it's like you have. So Manjuri now is what? Bhav Rasa. So she teach to relish Bhav Rasa. Who will be without her? No one. Because she knows Rasa Nas. We have to reach to Rasa Nas to unseen and separation. That will helpful to me, our Nas. Which Bhav she is taking subdued and reverence. Of this lover. Darling, Krishna is also she feels this <laughs> When somebody says lover, your darling. Your Praneshwara, she feels more close to those people. And Manjari can say this, your Pranavallava, your Prita, your Shri Rupa Goswami writes, The pain of separation doubles during the revelation that comes forth from Anurag. Uh -huh. And if somebody is praying, sit near to the mic. I pray in our room. Turn the speaker. Okay, but what I remember is that um, Anurag means. Um, when there's an exchange between two lovers. That's the other love. That's, that's uh, 
we hear there is rag and there is anurag. And um, so the beautiful love exchange between Radha and Mohan is that what we can see as anurag and feel. And um, I'm, I was a little bit meditating now what you were saying before on uh, Bhavulas Rati and uh, that Manjuri's feel Bhavulas. So in our Siddha Deha, we feel and Okay, I'll try again. What happened, Marco? What again? It's just the battery is a bit weak. So then, Rasa and Alva meet. Pizza. Rasa is when they are together. And when they are, Mandiri is feeling how when she is separated from Krishna, mm -hmm. then what she is doing in his bhav, what Rasa she took. So bhav means living in that kissing bhav of Krishna is not in it. She not lose the lips of Krishna, and that lips is looking in the form of Jutta. What you say? Remnants from the mouth of Krishna is also she feels it of Krishna. That is Rasa. She knows that Rasa. So anything from the mouth coming of Krishna. She, she in coming Mahavlas because she is Krishna is not there, but the feeling is not hating to her, is not finished, is is in separation. She is not far from Krishna mm -hmm. with the lips with the eating that. And she is teaching that if you are in separation, also live in that feeling of me. Mm. That I am there. Teaching to the mantras or to us like this, Guru? Yeah. That you not forget that. Mm. Not stand doing <laughs> Be subject, other subject. How believe in this business? He said that I have not do anything ever. So she is not doing anything ever. She is doing everything. But artists, different subjects. Behaving is different subject, but feeling is. Living in feeling is a So, Buddha, is it possible in Sadhak there to experience Bhavala Sati? That is only Dhabas Deha is always Sadhak, but without realizing my Saru, in Sadhak Deha we can realize Saru. And in Sadhak Deha, when we realize our Saru, then in this Sunday they have we get the in our last mm. how does how does that feel to <laughs> well, what that happens to us outside you, they do more things but they are not attacked there. Nobody can understand that person. But the bhav is, Manjari bhav is this. Means living that feeling, what you 
can stop it. If somebody loves someone and she lives in the vow, she will never open it. And then she will live with destiny. Because she bothered to say to her that other will not like her life. She don't want to disturb her vow. Right, Allah. I understand. <laughs> that will bother us. Why to bother telling my personal thing? Mm -hmm. So, Majiri Mahaprasa also not his wife to say, I am a Majiri Mahaprasa practicing. Yes, I am practicing this. It's a private thing. Yeah, how much you will share this? You will lose to do that. Who do not share and who not do this here. Mm -hmm. This is the marvel answer. Who is relishing? They have no time to share it. And who not relish? They say that I have. Manjari, I have this, I have that. Because they have no text on that. They are only thinking and calculating like that. They will hide it. Then, then by telling, they don't lose it. But it's protecting, not good. Never, never you. By looking, you can know. But they will not say from their lips that I am doing it. I fall in love with someone. I cannot do live without this feeling. In the personal business, art will Yeah. 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 It's okay. Any good then? I have one question, Gurudev. Yeah. So if Pavo Lasa means that Sri Radhe Radhika is in separation with his lover and he has feeling of kissing to him but he is not kissing now and the so, same time something comes from the lips of And by looking that, she thinks that if I will keep in my lips and in my mouth, I'm kissing to him. This is not happening. What you say, flying kiss me, is right. <laughs> So, but can you explain then how Manjaris feel power loss? Uh, Manjari means who is very close to Krishna or close to Radha. Radha. <laughs> she is very close to Krishna, but Manjari is very close to Radha. And Radha, what feeling? 
that feeling comes to me. Mm. What my song is feeling that I'm living in that feeling because I'm the shadow of her. I not try to do, but it's happening to me because my mind is meditating in her and in her Akriya. Akriya means her activities. Why you meditate? You meditate in activities. So this is my Akriya. <laughs> You are meditating what? The clear of some activities of some. So my meditation has to be in activities of some to change my activities, what I'm doing for material work. That activity is to meditate to forget old activity. Uh, active one where well, I'm active. No? And Kriya is very important. Like a bhajan and my active. Where I'm active, if it's different, different direction, then we are going nowhere. And what is the activities? And bhajan is together, it goes. One point. What to check? Why then clear? So a similar feeling like Pavolasa we can experience in Sadak Deha when we are in Bhajan Priya. Sadhak Deha means body. Body will never leave you. But in Sadhak Deha, you always sit there. Hmm. If you don't have a body, then how you will know you are sit there? Rather, Siddha Deha cannot come without Sadhak Deha. Or it can be, then we will become ghost. <laughs> Alone with the yes, soul. So we need our home to live, <laughs> to realize. We need one place to live, to living of the soul in my body. In the room of to live. My soul is living in my material room in this this body. And this is the good luck that rooms have to be so perfect that my bhav last can grow with my if not, well, Kriya is different. Focus is different. Different. Working is different. Talking is different. Thinking is different. And feelings are different. Feelings are different. So all in there. What do you say? One idea. No, in different directions. Oh, opposite. Opposite. And then we we become not happy. We are running and running to get peace because no activities are not one point. Saintly person say that peace is not outside, it is within you. And when 
and there is a conflict in any subject, there is no peace. Inner peace makes you to peace. Right? Yes. Bhav is so one pointed that it gives so much happiness. To me, after all my senses, all my body and my false ego all become non active now. Wow. This is incident. That is Siddha there, that is body is there, Sadak there and Siddha they are both always moved together. You cannot say that they are separate categories. When you are moving, in Sadak they are Siddha they are is working. Your Sadak they are will break down. Your Siddha they are will leave the body and go to the, how much your sadhana happened. Next step to destination. Yes. That is, your how they have will go, your soul will go. Mm. Mm. So I your sadhana, they are important to realize your sadhana. Yeah. Good. I was just meditating that um, Baba Ulasa is the Rasa Ulasa of the mantras. <coughs> that they are in their closeness to Swamini. This is their Rasa. This is their goal. And in Sadakadeha, if we are not fully developed, I am begging for Prashadi of more realized manjari. Right. But we don't need, we have no desire for us all that. And because I am manjari, and he, I don't want to kiss Krishna, I want to serve my Somni only. Yeah, this is the rasa. Uh, this is the bhavlas. Mm. Rasa, the uh, last is in my dream is not desire. No. That is the point. Mm -hmm. If somebody is dreaming rasa ullas, that is psyche mm. Yes. Okay. Rante Rante. Kaise So nice. You are living there. Yes. We wanted to take your darshan. Actually, yes. it was in the midst of the class, but then wanted to disturb. No problem. Yes. You're from Vrindavan or Sri Rupa Goswami writes, The pain of separation doubles during the revelation that comes forth from Anurag. Ah, that, that I want to ask for Gopinath. <laughs> the pain is coming. Separation. Anuragi, devotee, broken man. You're throwing me into the water, brother.
pain of separation, when we hear from Raghunath Das Goswami's words and his um, feelings, his unbearable, unbearable pain. And um, we also see it in the Gorila how the separation is keeping, you know, one way it's keeping them alive, the devotee on the other way it's, it's almost killing them. And um, so separation is a very essential ingredient in our sadhana and our developing our bhavadeha, I would say, because the more the feelings increase, the more we want really to be there, and the more we want to taste with, to taste the sweet pastimes of Farada and, and Krishna, as manjaris. And um, so when uh, <clears throat> Swami is often was described how she's uh, feeling the separation from her beloved, like he's not appearing on time uh, into, into the Kunja, so this morning, we were reading a verse from Radharasa Sudhanidhi, and um, it's actually a, a beautiful uh, maybe example of that, is that. So Radharani ornaments her youthful body, prepares herself for the meeting with her beloved, and she enters a kunja, and she starts decorating that kunja with her own hands, Beautifully, she prepares everything to arrive, but he doesn't arrive. So she keeps on waiting, and her anguish, her pain is so increasing, and the mantras feel it on all their lips and bodies. How much Swamin is in anguish, separation from her beloved. And Radharani starts talking to them and asking why, why is he not here? Why is he so late? I've left everything for him. I've deceived my parent-in-laws. I've deceived everyone to come here, but he's not appearing. And the Manjaris cannot tolerate that anymore to see Swami in that stage. And they go out to search for him. And when they finally find him, Mohan suddenly smells the fragrance of Radharani on the bodies of the Manjuris because they're wearing the ornaments, the prashadi of Swamini. And he immediately remembers her and he starts falling like a little puppy <laughs> behind them. And um, so the Manjuris bring bring him to the Kunja for the meeting, and so the, the Slida goes on. But it just shows how important this ingredient of separation is in our spiritual practice, that we can always, you know, in, in any stage, we can be there uh, for service. It's beautiful, of course, to serve when uh, the divine couple is together and relishing, but the beauty of um, that separation to help, to help Radharani to get to her beloved or to help her beloved to meet her. I feel that's a very yeah, beautiful service. And um, I, I often think that um, why, why there was such an emphasis on uh, separation mode in Mahaprabhu Lila. I feel in, in, in Braj Leela, there is more the Leelas of the Kunja, the Leelas at the Yamuna, but uh, Mahaprabhu Leela, there's a lot of elements of the separation. So I was also wondering, like Gurudev, um, where should we focus our, our practice, our meditation? First thing, if there is no love, 
and you will not feel suppressed. First is the Ram. So, if I start loving, I start liking, then I feel suppressed. This is the beauty of suppression. And the beauty of love, separation to increase my love. Without separation, love not increase. It will become like that. Slow walking. And when you feel live in separation, then it's fast to grow in. <laughs> you can feel and check in a fast flow when there is a separation. Only this thing that Sena we have to associate with Rasika to grow our love part. Without that, they will not share you the separation. It will not move fast. Love move fast in separation. So, Anurag is not there. Both sides is not there. You not feel separation. One side and love not feel separation. When there is a both side, same madness, <laughs> that you feel very much separation. So that is lucky only can share you and say. So is happening because of the mercy of Swami Kuteshwari. When we live near to Kuteshwari or Radhika, they are all restless. They cannot, they want to learn more pains and more intense path to movement. So this, our Gaudiya Vaishnava, they are one faster moment. Viraha is Raga. Viraha. If you have no pain, love is not very intense. Sorry to say. When less pain of separation, there is no raga. There is something behind. Can I say something? Yeah. Often we hear from you, you're saying that you never feel separated from other woman. We're <laughs> always with them. So, as Manjari, we're always with Radharani. So this feeling of separation, is that because we're in, this is a practice for the sadhak deha, to increase the feelings and the bhav? Only for my consoling, I say I am never separated. <laughs> <laughs> but, but at the same time, what is happening inside, who knows what is happening to <coughs> Nobody says it's pain. I am happy. And happiness is hiding in pain. <laughs> I want to share one Now they are there. Yeah, it's true. Uh, now we are talking about separation. The Manila came to my heart. This picture. Even though Moha and Raga are together, but most intense love they want to enjoy. Then Raga goes to Moha and feels separation. Where is Madhusudana? Where is Madhusudana? 
It's like you do today. You are never separate, but you feel separation. Then you are intense love time. Small sharing. Say that. I'm still inquisitive for the story. <laughs> this is rather rocky feeling, the separation. The Manjuris feel her of. But why do the Manjuris have to feel separation if they're always with her? They are. Want to be in a feeling of some what she is feeling this time, what she feels. Mm -hmm. That's a marvelous thing. Mm -hmm. Sometimes my Swami is happy, I am happy. Mm -hmm. Sometimes she is sad, I am sad. Mm -hmm. Sometimes she is again joking, I am happy. <laughs> like this is happening. Even she is so far changing the mood, we have to change that. That is how that's the Every moment is changing. You see, who is living in that mood, they change very fast mood. And they don't like any outside disturbance because they don't want to come from our last study and these connections. And that is really required help. Who is living in those circumstances? It's very fortunate that someone lives in that. How lucky. And to see that person is lucky. And to understand this person is also lucky person can understand. Lucky can understand. Everyone will not understand. His behavior is a normal behavior. Outside his behavior not changed with the color. With the external thing, is nothing. Inner behavior is totally because you know, inside is your sarup is there, no? outside is a plastic cover. They don't bother for that. You take example to Kesam Baba. <laughs> I think he is a most funny guy. To see him, he wears in summer time very hot clothes, <laughs> and winter time no clothes. So he's a funny person can do that because he is so much in his power. He don't bother for external. This is the Baba can drive to one motorcycle. He enjoy to bring sabji. I fight with him. I become angry, but he has so good training, Gopina, that what he do is okay. And that way, he this my nature is a brotherly nature. I angry to him, fight with him. Why you do this? But he has a he understand his mahavala. He is not doing for himself, he do for Rakhama. This is Bhavala Sadi. He is funny outside look that nobody will disturb him. <laughs> but he is next to him. <laughs> that way. They are like this person. Very difficult without Rasi to understand those people. Mm -hmm. This is the point. Easy to understand Raga Bhakta and Ragi Rasik Bhakta, but who lives in Bhavala Sati, they are more highly. That is Manjari Bhavala. Very high.
राधे राधे राधिका We always find it. We always find them right after the meeting, or right before the meeting. We're never in the meeting. We're always going towards it and anticipating it and longing for it, or we're leaving it and remembering it, going yeah. towards it and going back like the waves. We're never present in it. It's we never we're never there in the full unified. love act it's always a, a question of longing for it or remembering it yeah you see this is lasting yeah that's why that is the beauty of baha'u'llah now again and again what do you long That is your bhava. Material bhava, I speak to you. <laughs> Today was the subject in morning. There is two bhava. Bhava is coming from the soul, and my mind is from material. That bhava is also coming. When my mind is from the really. In for some name, that bhav is also known. Where you put your mind, that feeling is going to go. So I to put not in material. <laughs> what is destroying? Put in bhav in some. It's never wasting it. That bhav is lost. Is I wasting my time to putting my mind for funny? What is all destroying? And putting my mind for divine would never destroy. That is the wisest man. That said, my dear Lord, Radha. Mm-hmm. Right um recently i read a very beautiful sentence um it was saying that only through <coughs> meditating on the leela and experiencing the rasa one can transcend the ego rad hey beautiful if you want to transcend ego You have to see, decorate the breast of Radha, <laughs> or make ornament to her. Do everything. Your 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 all false ego will run away from you. Go and sit in the in the kunja pastime and see that pastime. All your faults will be leave you, because Krishna will dance on Gaudiya, <laughs> Radha Rani, and Krishna. What is difficult to find in material world, you will see that from your divine vision. Mm-hmm. Then. Your desire will over for this material punishment. <laughs> But you go cut by fast time. Very nice. This thing. This is Rasikas. And if I have ego, 
even I know his chant for Agbhakti. Ego sense in you, I mean, desires, this hold us in different energy, material thing. And I, I am a family member, I serve my husband independently. But my ego is to do that, is it? Atma Iksha Priti Vancha Tare Kamra My Iksha, my Kama, my desire is a Kama. Krishna Sukh Priti Vancha Tare Premla. And for the pleasure of Krishna, when I do something, that is Premla. It is a very vast subject to understand. <laughs> But in the mood of service, you do something, the different thing. And when you want to enjoy, you are still Radhira. <laughs> <laughs> so what to change? To karma in prison. That is sadhana. This sadhana has to do. We have to come from false ego. You have to uh, come in my reality of the Saru. We have to not identify by material thing and practice to live in that thing. That is the thing. People ask, why you do so fast material thing? I so if anything come, I do cook like this. Why? Why to hold and think on that? Hard, hard to. I never hold it. I never give. Ask to go. I give to advisor who advised me to take it care. Done. My job is done. <laughs> <laughs> free, always keep yourself free for the one point. Oh, yes. Sure, you have a body, material body. Material thing will come. But if you have a goal for spiritual thing, you are very smart to solve the material thing that you free. Mm -hmm. Somebody enjoying material things, keep it, hold it. Why I say this is Tony and boy will be a preacher one day. Why I say he's a businessman. I say he will be a preacher, you will see that right down his neck. <laughs> he's my mother. <laughs> Why I say because I know him. I know him. When I see him, I know him. He's very smart guy. So that way we have to smartness has to come bring it. And this is smartness, how to solve your material thing to be in yourself, in yourself. Be clever. Krishna Bhakti, hey, Bhagavad Chattu, what is the meaning of that? The Krishna Bhakti are very Chattu means clever. clever. What is means clever? Is a good word? No. <laughs> but it's clever means he knows how to he smartly do the things. Very clever. He is not foolish. He cannot make a whole thing clever. 
Smart. It's smart. <laughs> he can do what the other cannot do. That is Chattu. Chattu Vita. Any more? Because when artists start, we become Nervous. like this. <laughs> <laughs> <It's all over>. <laughs> <laughs> we are losing our meditation. I don't know. I don't go sometimes. But we are seeing more of life. The pain of separation doubles during the revelation that comes forth from Anurag. Yeah, double, triple, if you have a real Anurag, that separation you cannot believe. Whereas real Anurag, they can be like my Buddha. He's a Russian guy. How is he Russian? I know and he knows. So he can understand. Who is not Russian, I cannot explain them. They will not be there. <coughs> the fortunate person becomes Russian. Who is the right? Right. right. <laughs> Don't share to anyone. If you share it, it will become lighter. You know, uh, but that it makes you anurali. Yes, you are, you know, anurali. Exchange it. There Keep it private. Go on. And every little sharing we do of of care in our day is a little model of the divine love that's that's waiting for us. Yeah. 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 Thank you. I will be very happy to meet you today. In the mm -hmm. time, yeah, yeah, that's very Dave, I'm just realizing how fortunate we are that you share with us because that also means that you give something away. What to do? Lunch make me to share it. I want to listen, but somebody scratched and I, I share something. After a long time, I see my history. So, um, the pain of separation doubles during the revelation that comes forth from Anurag, yes. and in this manifestation, one feels a festival of bliss that wow. is coveted by all. Yeah. You have this book. How much you will it? It will be very radical. You no need to read this book. Really, you have to be in this line. Understand? You have to go in in this line to feed it and live in this way. Is it not a philosophy? Is it an African word? Every word is written in the feelings of realization.
The next is the best, uh, Kishori, the next line. Therefore, when Swamini is the yogini, separated, she is also some yogini, united. Sri Yeah, you see. Yeah. Yeah. She yeah. is always Krishna Mai. Wow. Krishna Mai. In separation of Joe Krishna Mai. <laughs> there is no other subject for her. When he stares at me from the corners of his ruddy eyes. He throws out a fish hook that pulls at my heart. Yeah. I am so much in the water. Funny thing doing. She makes a hook to come bring up me and to to her, she brings me by catching with the fish. There is no way to understand the joy and or the distress she feels from this pulling. Yeah. Yeah. Pure transcendental sweetness can be relished when it is pressed out by feelings of separation. Yeah. Pure transcendental sweetness can be relished when it is pressed out by feelings of separation. Yeah. <coughs> Why I say you know, in beginning sometimes to bring you the then you don't need me, you will start flowing automatically. Because we are so out in material things, it's difficult to, to bring a shami throughout, fish hook to bring here. No? And when she bring to us, by her book, catch to me. Not difficult to understand because I am so close to her, easy to see and feel it. During deep transcendental visions, Sri Raghunath relishes the sweetness of devotional service as if. He is directly with Swamini. And when the revelation disappears, he laments while remembering the pastimes he had attained. Yeah, then what is lamentation? Suffering. The sweet past and the feelings is gone from me. That is the meditation. Without feeling how I will understand that. When she will not catch me to the fish hook and bring close to me. Today, 
राधे राधे थैंक यू फॉर योर टेक धन्यवाद
that in the separation of these feelings, the realizations of the meetings will come naturally. It will happen from inside, but maybe it will not be shared so much. But here, we're lucky that Guru is very generous, like a great mama, mother, Guru, you are giving always the nectar of your realizations. And that is your mother, Nino, your great Audarya, your generosity. So we can also have some feelings. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. Thank you. Thank you, Suniti. Thank you. Rade, Rade, Guru Dev. Rade, Rade. Thank you. Thank you, Garanda Sundara. Rade, Rade, Guru Dev. Rade, Rade. Rade, Rade, Guru Dev. Rade. Rade, Rade, Rade. 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 Jai Gurudev. Radhe Radhe. Jai Radhe. Radhe Radhe Gurudev. Radhe Radhe. 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 I'm very happy that you are not here. I'm very thankful to you. Actually, Prabhupada writes about in introduction of Bhagavad Gita by developing relation in your devotional practice is to develop relation. And when you do, you start doing that devotion with relation, then you get the salut, your identification that you are a friend, you are a mother, you are, a, you are what you are. You are Radha Dasi, Sarup, that is Sarup. And by this practicing, you develop your perfection, that's a Sarup Siddhi. If you not do, all this is practicing to know the soul. Why this? Why not other subjects are there? Why you read Bhagavad? Gita, to know only soul. And if not do practice to soul, then your spiritual life not grow. And when soul practicing is there to bring to the perfection of yourself. This is the reason of soul to be. You come to understand this. I want to say one more about the Jesus. He, he knows the relation. He was with the relation. He said, Father, why not he say God? 
because this was his relation. And he has a sarup that he is a son. When we will understand, without sarup, you do not relate. How to explain this to understand this? That without my identification, I cannot love you. My body cannot love, my senses cannot love, my force will never love anyone. And we are trying from these things to love. Impossible. Love goes through the your your salute. Your soul can want to others. But we are not interested in that. We are interested in love to love with body, love to love with senses, love to love with that ego. <laughs> Impossible. Ego never love others. But body can never love. For that body, after a few hours, days, few months, few years, you will be garbage. Sense never love to any senses because after some years, some months, it will be old, garbage. And we are trying the same thing <coughs> on and on and on and on. It's all dirty, it's stinky. The reality we don't want to reach and we suffer. That to take. Is right or wrong? Rather, 